Hayward hard to the wall. And now Boyman and Hayward are going to go. But they're just grabbing on to one another, and I don't think any punches are going to be thrown. But look at the equipment fly. Players are throwing their gloves and their sticks and their helmets and everything else. But again, uh, pushing and shoving and grabbing on, but no punches thrown. And now, reaching in to try and get in from over the top is the 90 of Grand Rapids. And he lands a couple of them. Ramsey right there as well. He's paired off with Craighead. That could be a battle. And the and really having trouble getting a handle on this situation as Boyvan and Knighty are both reaching in. And hey, look at Knighty trying to reach around the linesman to land a shot or two. And Hayward is the, the, the guy the Griffins really want to get at here in this situation. <laughs> and it really looks uh, from, from that vantage point like you need three or four more linesmen out there to, to, to get control of all of this. Rob Snitzer in the foreground and Griffin's coach and GM Bob McNamara taking all of this in. More concerned, one supposes, about what's going on up on the scoreboard than what's going on deep in Quebec territory because that scoreboard continues to read Quebec 4, Grand Rapids 1. Well, they're still going to get a Rich. good look at the paraphernalia. Now Ramsey and Craighead are going to go, and this should be a heavyweight bout. Oh, and the rammer got clocked. He just got tuned, gang. Oh, my. And then, now oh, the girlfriends are going after Craighead, who I think took a shot at the referee. And Hayward came off the bench to get back into it, and Snitzer has to run onto the ice to take a look at Bruce Ramsey, who just got clocked. Oh, my goodness. Clocked with an exclamation point. Wow. Wow, he looked like he was not cold. Yeah, for, I really for did. I mean, that's scary. Well, he's... Uh, He's sitting up, but Rob Snitzer has a, uh, a towel and perhaps an ice pack pressed firmly to his face. Boy, and, Bruce uh, is not getting up either. No. Now it looks like he's getting to his knees. Yeah, but slowly, and he's struggling to do so. And there's Hayward pointing at the Grand Rapids bench. Yeah. And Ramsey is woozy. Yeah, and Rob's just saying, stay down. Now you know, what's it, going on at the Quebec bench? The referee's still involved down there. And you got a Quebec player who's without his jersey. That that's right. It may be. I think Hayward's on the ice. He is. That may be Craig, and it is. And he's got to be restrained by Eric Perrin. And he was trying to hop off the bench and uh, go over to the Grand Rapids bench and start getting after people. So this is as wild a scene as we've seen this year at the Van Andel Arena. And Hayward just and still Ramsey down on the ice. Wouldn't get off the ice. And Boy, this is just ugly. Yeah, I've got a feeling Ramsey... You saw his forehead really bleeding uh, profusely up there. I think he obviously hit the ice hard, and I think he hit his head on the ice when he fell, too. He's hurt. He's being supported by Rob Snitzer. No, he can't even stand on his own. There's Craighead of Quebec. Lost his jersey and half his equipment. He still wants to go. So finally... With a lot of help, Bruce Ramsey is being taken off the ice. Hanging on to Mark Cornforth and Todd Nelson. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, you just, that was just ugly. I mean, a, a, a hockey fight is, uh, I mean, it tends to entertain the crowd, but, uh, and usually you don't see it get out of hand. Yeah. It gets scarier like that, but that got scary. Well, there's a line to be drawn. And Bruce Ramsey, I mean, obviously with 31 fighting majors this year, because the kind of guy who can handle himself in a fight, and I'm not sure what happened down there, that uh, that he would be so wide open that he he just got hammered and uh, just about got knocked out uh, knocked out cold. Well, you see so many punches flying, and a majority of them don't hit. Nobody's getting hurt, but uh, and I don't even know who hit him. To tell you the truth, there was so many players down there. I didn't see who squared off with Bruce, but whoever.